Good day, good day, Spark Millie here, and welcome back to our McLaren Rose Manager F1 2021 Manager Mod Save Season 2. Alright, so I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got one of the biggest Grand Prix of the year, the Silverstone GP. Um, hopefully we can get a win for Lando at his home race, it would be fantastic, but just before we get started, I just want to say a big thank you to Jose, Luke Gaming and Joey for commenting on the last two videos. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you want to be featured in the next video and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already and liking the video would also mean the world to me as well. Let's get started. Alright, so we're going to work on the gearbox, which is still an area I believe we're lacking. Yes, second behind Mercedes and also the rear wing we need to do a bit of work on as well, but the gearbox will be done seven days for the race, which is pretty good considering we've got 10 days for the race. We will also have the engine done in eight, so we will be designing a new part this episode. And I think once we do the gearbox, we'll switch to the rear wing to try and up that. And hopefully we can overtake Mercedes right before the Silverstone GP. Okay, time to design a new part. The new engine's done work and the reliability for that. Hopefully we can do a bit of performance too, but it's already out of space form. It's such an upgrade compared to our current one on the second car. But we're going to go on the front wing. We haven't built one this season yet. So I feel like, you know, it's a qu nice quick build. It'll literally be done before, the, oh, after the race, only just. And um, it's already a big upgrade because, you know, average, even on a base part, is such a big upgrade. All right, so we have a politics vote here. And to be honest, I'm not really fussed because I don't think we're going to be playing next season. And I don't really care what the length of the races are anyway. So we're just going to go abstain and skip to the end here, see what happens. It is rejected. Um, if I voted for it, it would have gone down to the FAA, but I literally don't mind because um, the race is going to stay the same anyway if we're going for a third season, which I don't think we will considering how dominant the second season is looking like. Alright, welcome to Q3 at Silverstone, the famous circuit itself. Now, we've perfected Ricardo's setup quite a bit and there was rain in practice in Q1, not Q2, but it's going to return for Q3. So we're going to go out and run here quite early on to try and beat the rain and then maybe at the end of the session we can go for another run quickly. We're still playing around with Lando's setup a little bit. We're going to play with the tie camber a little bit. I'm um, saying a little bit a lot there, but uh, that's fine. We move on. And it's all purple from Lando. Lewis was on top in a couple of sessions. I think practice Q1. Lando was on top by about four tenths in Q2. Ricardo was in fourth. So pretty much the standard so far. We're going to send him out again at about the two minute mark. Maybe 2.10 or 2.15 and two minute. Let's just look, watch that clock run down a little bit. And oh, I overdid it. I like how I said out loud, loud and still didn't follow through. So it's going to be a bit squeaky bum to get Ricardo around the track in time for a second run. I don't know if he'll improve in fourth anyway, but it's definitely worth the punt, isn't it? They both beat the clock, but they will not improve their time. And Hamilton will be 0.002 seconds off our pole to Norris, and that's going to be quite a spectacle come the race. It looking, it's looking quite close this weekend, apart from that Q2 showing. So the race, though. So it looks like it's going to start in the sun, so I'm not regretting our decision to go... On the soft Q2, as we always do, we're going to have the advantage there. And it doesn't look like rain's going to happen. So let's go on race trim and soft tires, uh, light-footed. If you watch my streams, you'll definitely know that I love a light-footed. I mean, if you watch the series as well, for sure. But uh, overtake and push and start race. And on the topic of streams, if you're watching this live as it just came out, I'm actually streaming at 2 a.m., which this video comes out at 1 a.m. So an hour after this video comes out... I'm streaming, so make sure to jump on if you're watching live. Um, I'm going to try and stream a lot more whenever I have time. So, anyway, let, let's get back to the race here. Norris gets a fantastic start, which cannot be said for all these starts this season. Ricardo, not so much. He drops down to fifth, but he still looks like he's still within the pack a bit. Norris could just go here, so we're going to follow on board Ricardo for a bit of action. Um, that being said, they've actually caught up to Norris as soon as I switched it off him. Maybe I oh, was a good luck charm, but it, it looks like an Aston Martin, the Mercedes, at that rear wing a little bit. Uh, maybe at first glance, but now that I look at it more, it really doesn't. So, Norris will actually drop down a second. I said he was getting caught a bit, and uh, Verstappen takes lead of the Silverstone GP. And I really didn't see Verstappen in the mix early on here. I thought it was more going to be Lewis the problem, but um, continuing on here, hopefully we can get past this Ferrari, because it's really slowing down Ricardo quite a bit, and he gets around the outside beautifully. Norris reclaims the lead of this GP. We're going to switch the engine modes out a little bit. And Ricardo's getting a bit angry at Hamilton there as he gets in the way. And we will overtake Hamilton with Ricardo, which is fantastic. And I'd much rather have the, uh, have the Verstappen, have the Red Bull in front of us than the Mercedes because that Red Bull hasn't really looked on pace this weekend. So we can probably clear him quite easily. Um, but we won't know until we come up to him. That being said, he is kind of going away following Lando. 
Um, not quite. Lando is pretty far gone already. He's going purple. He's just set the fastest lap on the sixth lap of the Grand Prix. So Lando is feeling himself at his home GP, which is beautiful to see. Ricardo got a bit of work to do down in third, but um, honestly, this isn't even a bad result down in third place at all. So we're going to continue on here, and I'll bring you back for anything massive. Happening. All right, so we've just powered through a lot of the Grand Prix. Jim Nassi's just crashed out as I brought you guys back, but um, that's not what I brought you back for. It's time for pits. We're going to bring him in. We could probably no-stop if we manage the tyres better, but um, like we said earlier, no-stopping is not an option. It's just cheating, really. And with that new engine for Ricardo, hopefully we can start to see it come off a bit here as he can pull away from the rest of the pack. But he's going to come in the pits. He's obviously still has the pit. Make sure I, I selected a new tyre. I feel like I went through that very quickly. And um, we we'll, we'll may as well make, it with, make sure with Lando as well. Yeah, I definitely did. It was the same speed as last time, but um, that's fine. Double checking never hurts. That would have been quite a way to mess up the race, wouldn't it? But Lando gets away with a 2-3. What will Ricardo get away with? A 2-1. So not bad for my pit crew there. Not the one eight we were setting early in the season, but we we'll definitely take a 2-3. It's still quite quick. Um, but Ricardo is going to come out in front of Verstappen by quite some distance, and he's got a couple cars clear on the blue flag, so hopefully he can do that quite quickly. And now we have the massive tyre advantage, of course, going longer on our first stint. We're just clipping through the Haas there, but that's fine. Um, yeah, that is... No, no, that's not the Haas. Yeah, I saw red and blue and got a bit excited there, but it is... Who's Schumacher driving for? I get mixed up between my Spartan Racing Prima. That's it, back at Prima. Prima, Prima, Prima. I feel like that's definitely not it, but... um. Norris, yeah, no rain. I thought I heard rain for a second, but yeah, no rain to speak of yet. And um, yeah, I really like that livery. It looks a bit weird, the green sponsor, but I think we're losing that soon anyway, so that is fine. We've got quite a bit of fuel to use here, so we may as well give the boys a bit of power, um, use the fuel. I think Verstappen's still got to stop again, so I really don't think there's much of a contest here. I think Norris will take this home GP victory quite easily. Um, which I think, yeah, he hasn't won it before, because he didn't win it last year, and he has, obviously hasn't won it before that, so this will be a first win for him at his home GP, if he can obviously win it from here. If he crashes out, then um, yeah, let, let's not speak about that. We might jinx it. We'll go easy on the fuel, for fuel a bit now, as Hamilton is 10 seconds behind, still with a pit stop to go. We've actually just lapped a Red Bull in Hulkenberg, who's not having the best start to the season. I mean, he has pitted twice, to be fair to him, but you do not want to be lapped in a Red Bull, that's for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that Norris car is just on another level, let's be real. And we can get Ricardo up to a similar standard, but we are absolutely smashing down the laps now. Five laps to go. And this hasn't been the most entertaining viewing ever, but uh, it's a solid victory. And Norris wouldn't have won anything else, really. Um, it's no majestic Lewis Hamilton Silverstone victory, as we've seen a few times in his career. He just somehow pulls it out of the home Grand Prix. But Norris will definitely take this one as he takes his final lap in anguish. Just, uh, you know, soak it in, mate. Soak it in. Last couple corners. Uh, just amazing looking tracks with the, with the turbines in the background. Last corner as Lando Norris will come home for his first home Grand Prix victory. We watch him cross the line. P1, P1. Thank you guys. Couldn't have done it without you. We jump on board Ricardo, who's quite some way back actually. He will cross the line too. And nice race. We could do better though. So he wants the race win. And he has the cars too. These cars are pretty even now, especially with that new engine. I even considered giving Lando some of his parts back, but. I think the cars are pretty even, and Ricardo can make a jump at it, and Lando was just, he put in a 9.3 today, Ricardo put in a 5.1, you saw that on track, and there's a 27 gap, 27 second gap to reflect that, so good win for Lando, switch back to him on his home Grand Prix victory, and first of many, if we were to continue on with this career mode, I'm sure, and there it is, a 1-2, Max Verstappen got the third place in the podium, I definitely didn't see that, like I said at the start of the race, I thought Hamilton was going to be the one to pace, but uh, Verstappen's going to be our guest member on the podium as our boys take the 1 2. We are on the podium again this season with our hat. And uh, the orange confetti comes down yet again this season. Alright, interview with Sky Sports. Um, Lando had a great win. I hate that question. It just, it, I get it pretty often now uh, about post race celebrations. More than Ricardo wins, not so much Lando, but maybe the home race brought out some extra festivities that we're not used to seeing. But uh, as you can see there, his morale's up. It's somehow above 100. Uh, he's got a 25 morale that's boosted his 100 morale. Um, it's all happy days here though. To win a home GP is obviously a good feeling. And we've also front wings done. So that is fantastic as well. 
Um, we can look at designing a new part episode, the next episode, but as you see, the car is just through the roof. Um, as we saw there, just that one little spot on the gearbox behind Mercedes. So, I mean, I always struggle with the gearbox. It seems to be a common theme with mine if we just neglect it, but it's only just. We won't, won't be too upset about that one. And that is how the standings look 11 races in. We are in a comfortable position as we... We have been all season, really. This race changed nothing. But 6 to Lando, 3 to Ricardo. The gap between them is now 36 points. It's going to be quite interesting to see how this race uh, develops throughout the season. As, of course, as I said earlier, quite equal cars. But, um, yeah, that's all for this episode. Quite a routine episode, but a bit of action in there um, in qualifying with the rain. But uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and leave any thoughts, feedback, suggestions for this series and another series down below. Make sure to join the live stream as well at 2 a.m. or an hour after this goes up and consider subscribing if you're not already but that being said only one episode today i've got a couple other videos i want to do but um i'll see you next time for some more mclaren motorsport manager thanks for watching